three and four. Okay, so hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, then welcome. My name is Emma. In today's video, I've got quite a big charity shop haul, so I'm having a sit down. It's going to be more of like a more of like a chilled video. So yeah, I've got a lot of stuff down here, and I'm just going to get straight into it. Otherwise, this video is going to be quite long. So yeah. So I've got another one to add to my collection out of the Disney dolls. So this one is Tiana. Um, she is from, I think, the Princess and the Frog. So yeah, she is the Disney store one from London. I'm not sure if she's an animator one as well. But yeah, she cost me £1.50 from my local charity shop down the shops. But yeah, I've looked up everything already. So I've got it all on my phone being organised so yeah so I paid £1.50 she sells anywhere from 10 to 12 pounds so yeah I probably lift her maybe well probably like 12 pounds 11.99 somewhere around there so yeah she cost me £1.50 so that was a good find um next I'm just gonna go with this one so this one I think is pretty cool if you like Batman you'll think that too but this is a what was it called this is 2007 Mattel um, it's Batman Dark Knight Batmobile apparently so I paid £3.50 for this but I think it is awesome so it looks like this and he is remote control and I do have the remote and he does work because he went off in my bag like I had a feeling that it maybe not like maybe wouldn't work but yeah I he went off in the bag so I know he works and I've tested it already and it works so yeah he's pretty cool um I couldn't find any on eBay like sold there was one and it's from America and it was missing the remote it didn't have the remote it was literally just the car as like a figure and that one went for 19.99 I think. So I think I'm going to hang I found and then I found another one that was listed on eBay. They listed theirs for 28 I think somewhere around there. And they didn't have any like stickers or they were quite battered and stuff. So I think I'm going to aim for 29.99 on this one. Uh yeah, I can always come down obviously on the price, but yeah, I think it's pretty cool and there is the remote here so yeah three pound fifty into maybe 30 would be great so yeah there's the next item and there it goes it's off right next item i'm going to show you okay so this one was good this one was a bit random as well actually so i went into like these are all my local charity shop at the moment i do think my local charity shops down my own shops is very good so i found this thing here it was just in the kids box and it i paid 50p for it if you can see there 50p um i don't know why i was just drawn to it so yeah and it's metal and then i turned it over and it says Matchbox Sea Kings K301 Frigate and then K305 Sub Chaser. So I thought it's from 1976 Lesney Products. And yeah, I know that um, Matchbox is things like good things to look out for because my granddad is actually was a toy collector and he worked in a toy store. So he tells me he like helps me out what to look for, <laughs> but yeah so i've looked this one up i paid 50p for it and where is it yeah so this one's going roughly seven well yeah seven to like eight pounds so i'm thinking i'm gonna list this one for 7.99 but it's pretty cool very good condition but yeah it was just chucked in the kids section so definitely check all the kids boxes and things that's what I do anyway because you don't know what you're gonna find in there so got that one uh, I think I'm gonna go and touch some board games next let me just 
Yes, I think I'm going to go into some board games next. So next I picked up a Monopoly. So I don't know on this one. I've already looked it up. I paid 350 which is normally a... I mean, it's not that bad. This is from my local one. This one goes for... Uh, one sold for 10.99 the other day. So yeah, obviously I've got to check if they are all complete and stuff. But... So £3.50 maybe into like ten ninety nine would be nice. So that's the first board game. Then we've got some old vintage board games which I think are really cool. Like I really do like vintage items and finding board games and things. So the first one, first one I paid £2 for and it is called Market Day. Looks like that. It's by Ravensburger, distributed by Fisher Price. This is a 1984 game. But yeah, I've looked this up. This one is, I paid two pounds and this one goes for roughly 20. A lot of them have been selling for 20. So I'll probably put mine up for 20. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Looks like that if you want to look out for it. But yeah, always look out for the vintage board games. I, I do, a lot. Like the Ravensburger ones are great. So that was my first find that I found. And then... Oh, so this was a puzzle as well that was down my local shops. I love this one. Like any Disney fans. So this is a Waddington's Walt Disney Classic Cinderella. Uh, what was it from? 1992 so it's a classic Cinderella Waddington's puzzle these are insane actually I paid three pounds for this one and this is going for 24.99 like the last ones I have sold have been 24.99 so yeah obviously I've got like I, I, I don't know actually I might actually do that one might not just sit there and count the pieces. But there's loads you can collect. Like these are all the ones you can collect. So you've got like Lady and the Tramp, Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, Lion King, Jungle Book, Snow White, Peter Pan and then Cinderella. So they're the ones you can collect if you want to look out for them. But yeah, I thought that one was really cool. And then we have another vintage board game. This one is called Race to the Wreath. I paid two pound. Oh no, I paid three pound fifty for this one. Uh, yeah, another Ravensburger. It's what's this one? Nineteen eighty-two. This one looks like that. And yeah, looks like that on the back. Not quite sure what you've got to do. I'm guessing you've just got to race to the roof. An exciting game of pursuit from the basement to the attic. So yeah, not sure. Never seen it before. But this one is going for... Where is it? This one's going for about 14 99 This one is. So yeah, again, good profit. Then we do have a oh focus. Then we do have a, another puzzle. This is a Christmas one. This is a Gibson's A Long Night by Ralph J. McDonald. Two times five hundred piece jigsaw puzzle. I paid two pounds if you can see that. But yeah, so this is, is like that. So it's got two different Christmas puzzles on there. Uh, this one is going for... Let's see if I can find it. This one's going for about £10. So, yeah, Christmas puzzles do well. Gibson's are doing very well for me, actually. So I always look out for like, Gibson's puzzles. If they're a bit different or like Christmas or trains, trains do very well for me as well. So, yeah, paid £2 for that one. Now I need to just grab the bag. Oh, 
Okay, so I'll show you one of the best finds that I got. So this is... Hold on, it's all wrapped up. So this is a... I mean, I don't know how you say it. Like cruise or something like that. But this is a... Like... Kind of like a dark turquoise kind of colour but it is a Le Creusier pot like a storage jar it is in amazing condition but it literally looks like hardly anything's been in there um, there's no chips or anything so there's that on the bottom of it so yeah but yeah, I paid five ninety nine for this one, so I paid up a little bit. But obviously, I know this brand does well, so I've already looked it up, and I think they were going. Yeah, they're going anywhere from twenty five to thirty pounds. So yeah, I thought that's pretty cool. It's a nice colour too, and it still seals very nicely. So yeah, that was like probably my best find of the day. So I'm just gonna put that down there before I drop it. So I'm clumsy. That was it in that bag. Then. Okay, so we got another Action Man to join the collection. Um, I've already sold one, actually. But, yeah. So he is another, like, pea shooter one. So he's another one of these. He's got the thing on the back here that you, like, flick out. And he's, like, he does that. This one's got, like, spare ones here. But yeah, pay one pound for him, and he is going for. Uh, these go for like seven ninety nine roughly, so seven eight pounds roughly. But yeah, he's in pretty good condition. So got him. I'll move on to some books now. So I went to my local cats protection. And I was just looking around, I got some clothing items which we'll see in a minute. And I saw this book which I was like, oh Harry Potter. And it was in a box two for a pound. So I was just like, oh okay. So I got this and this is a Harry Potter and the Cursed Child parts one and two. But I don't know, like it's a special rehearsal edition script. The other book is sliding off my lap. So it's a special edition Special rehearsal edition script. Uh, yeah, apparently it was originally £20. Uh, it is a first print one. But, yeah. So, paid 50p for it. And it is going for, like, 6 to £7. So, I'm happy with that. So, I've got that one. And then, obviously, obviously I didn't have any more like Harry Potters or anything. So, I literally randomly just picked this one up. This is by... Carola Dunn and it's the bloody tower so I didn't really know much about it but I thought it looked pretty cool so I picked it up and it's like that um yeah this was just a random one I was going to pick up because I couldn't find it but this one actually goes for £3.50 so I'm happy with that because I only paid 50p for it and I needed one to do like the bundle thing with because I don't know why they do that but they're funny if you don't pick two like they won't sell you one for 50p like you have to do two for a pound i don't know what that's about but yeah got my two for a pound and got pretty good profit on them so yeah right we're going to move on to some clothing items now so hopefully i can show you might have to go back a bit but this is a dress by miso or miso 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 uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure. Uh, it's a size 14. Cost me a pound. And it's a really pretty colour. It's like a turquoise with black. It's got the ribbon that goes around the back. But yeah, like that's the front of it. And then it just goes down. But on the bottom, if I can show you, it's like a different length. I might have to just... Oh god. So let's just, so it looks like that at the bottom, so it's a different length, 
but yeah so I paid a pound um, I've looked this one up and it is where is it yes yeah, so this is going anywhere from eight to nine pounds so yeah happy with that and it's a really pretty color it's got like that satin feel but I'm pretty sure it's polyester so yeah it's a nice find for that one paid a pound Uh, next dress I picked up in Cats Protection was this one. This is by a brand called Kaleidoscope. It's a nice blue dress with like, kind of just like squares and things on it really. It's just a pattern. Yeah, it's got like a fake wrap over at the front. And then it just goes down into a normal dress. I uh, paid a pound and this one is going for... Do, 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 six to seven pounds so yeah not bad so that was the next item then we got another dress this is a joe browns which is a nice brand for me they do sell well if they're in like a larger size so 14 and upwards is a very good kind of size bracket that do well for me especially with joe browns so this is a size 16 which is nice so it's got like a big wrap over at the front again it's got like a wrap over and then just goes straight down into a dress it's like black with all different flowers on it you can see there that's the kind of pattern um, again, this is from my local shops, but all their dresses are a pound in there. So it was originally four, which is not bad anyway at all, because that's how much you normally would pay in a charity shop for Joe Browns, like four to five pounds. But yeah, I paid a pound, which I'm very happy with. This one is going for roughly, where is it? Yeah, this one's going for roughly 15, 16 pounds. So I'll probably list it up at like 15, 99 and see where we go with that. So that's the next item of clothing. Then this one I am very happy with. So this is a Jack Wills. So a nice brand to start off with. This is a Jack Wills kind of like, it's a blue kind of, just like a summer dress really so it kind of goes down it's fully pleated on the bottom but one thing I saw it's new with tags so this was originally £69.50 it's in a size 14 but this was originally £10 they wanted for it in the charity shop which is a good price because obviously normally it's £69.50 but you know I paid a pound for it so yeah it just does up with like these clasps kind of things like they're like the eyelet clasps but yeah so that one I I think I'm aiming roughly I think it was only like two sold on eBay and yeah, I'm going to aim £24.99 for my one. Because some people sold theirs for like £29.99, someone sold theirs for like £22. So I'm going to go like in the middle, I'm going to go for £24.99. There's none on listings at the moment I can see. So yeah, that was a really nice find, that one. I apologise if the lighting's being a bit weird. I'm literally sat at my uh, desk at the moment, so the computer's on. <laughs> Right, so, I think we're on the last item already. I mean, I've been filming for, what, 25 minutes. So, this guy, I paid 50p for. It's from the Zootropolis movie. Um, I didn't know it spoke. I thought it was just, like, a little plushie. But, okay, so my memory card was full. Apologise for that. But, yeah. As I was saying, 
I thought he was just a plush. He paid. I paid 50p for him. Um, yeah, he has a voice box, so you can switch him on. There you go. And then I think you just squeeze him. So he makes elephant sounds. I think he has two switches, because that one's like elephant sounds. And then... Try and switch him over to the other side. Oh no, maybe he just makes elephant sounds. Okay. So he does just make elephant sounds. Is he off? He's off. Right. <laughs> I have a thing where my things I buy don't seem to turn off. So, yeah, paid 50p. This one is going for roughly... Where are you? This one's going for roughly eight to nine pounds. So I paid 50p for him. And yeah. So that is finally, I think. Yeah, so that's finally it. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got another charity shop haul actually coming, which you will see Tuesday, I think. And then I might upload this one Thursday, maybe. So yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel. If you like this more like chilled kind of video instead of me standing up and getting everywhere. Uh, yeah, then comment down below or give it a big thumbs up so I know. And yeah, I think I'm just going to stick to more of like... I'm probably going to stick to more of like the chilled kind of videos, sit down videos. Because I'm planning to get some more clothes, which I have. I've been given so I haven't paid for them but I was thinking of doing a haul on that and yeah so I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys